I've had a couple of requests from people on Reddit um, about a set of exercises I do for posterior tibial tendonitis. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about what it is, how you get it, um, and the exercises that I use to, to keep it at bay. Um, first, a disclaimer, I'm not a medical professional. If you think you're injured, seek uh, professional medical assistance from a doctor or a physiotherapist or, or other professional. Um, so posterior tibial tendonitis. Um, there's a muscle in the back of your leg that lies underneath your psoas and gastrocnemius muscles that holds the arch of your foot up. It's called tibialis posterior or the posterior muscle. Um, it lies quite deep in here in the calf um, and the muscle runs down. It forms a tendon that stretches down past underneath the malleolus or the medial malleolus, which is the knobbly bit in your ankle. The tendon then runs down and attaches to the navicular and, and other bones in the sole of your foot. Um, its primary purpose is to hold your arch up or to stabilize the foot as you get the, the landing phase as the foot comes down when you're, when you're running. If the muscle gets weak, the tendon can degenerate over time and it will lengthen and your arch will gradually begin to collapse. Um, you'll start to feel it as a pain in the side of the arch of your foot or running up through your ankle or just a couple of inches across the malleolus or sometimes the pain's actually felt, it feels like it's in the bone, in the malleolus itself, it's not, it's the tendon there. So that's what it feels like. Um, I've got this set of exercises that I've been doing for a couple of years since I've got it. As long as I do them regularly, like every day pretty much, it keeps it at bay. I can run up to about 80 miles per week. I've run a 100 mile race um, and it keeps my legs in okay condition. If I stop, to do, stop doing it, the pain starts to come back very, very gradually. So um, I do it pretty much every day as like a normal strengthening uh, regime, along with other things as well. Um, okay, so I've got a set of five exercises. I'll take you through now. Okay, so one of the really good kinds of exercise for any kind of uh, overuse or tendonitis problem is eccentric exercise. That's where we're allowing the muscle to, that connects to the tendon we're looking to exercise to lengthen under load. So a lot of people will be familiar with uh, heel drops. So if you have Achilles tendonitis, one of the issues, is, one of the good treatments is you stand on your tiptoes and you slowly lower your foot, your heel to the ground like that. And what you're doing is there's tension on the muscle, but it's lengthening at the same time to allow your leg down to the ground. That aligns the collagen muscle, collagen fibers in the tendon and strengthens the tendon. And over time, your tendonitis gets better. At least that's the, the, what the mechanism is believed to be. Slightly more difficult with post-tibial tendonitis. Um, but the principle is the same thing. We want to lengthen the muscle and put tension on the muscle, um, you know, and lengthen it under load. So stand, I stand about maybe 10 centimetres um, away from the wall. Um, that will vary on your height and the length of your leg. Shorter people, a bit closer. Uh, taller people, a bit further apart. But the point is that when you tip forward like that, you should be just putting a little bit of stretch on your calf muscles, just as you would for a normal calf stretch. Okay, that's about right for me, maybe a little bit closer. Okay, so when I touch my knees, bend my knees and step forward like that, what I'm finding is I've got a nice little stretch, um, partially at the inside of the leg, but really in the calf is just a light stretch. And then I'm just gonna lean over to the side and tap there. Tap in the middle and tap to the right. And with each of these taps, you want to be maybe uh, 10 centimetres, 4 inches to either side of the centre line. There we go. So left, middle, right. That's one rep. I do 30 reps, but I've worked up to that. I started with about six and increased like uh, by a couple um, every few days until now I can do 30 comfortably. That's exercise one. Okay. Feet shoulder width apart, just nice and relaxed, sort of eight, 10 centimeters away from the wall, knees forward, just adjust it until you feel a nice little stretch down the inside of your calf, and then left, center, right. That's one rep. Left, center, right. Left, center, right. The, the second exercise we're going to talk about today is very slightly different, um, but it operates on the same principle. So what we're going to do is stand maybe, uh, I don't know, 30, yeah, a foot to a foot and a half away from the wall, and then stand on one leg. What you should be able to see 
is my left foot and is I'm wobbling slightly because I'm trying to maintain my balance. Um, and the muscles in my lower leg and my foot are being stimulated to try and shift my weight around to keep my center of gravity inside my foot. Um, that's entirely normal. And one of the muscles that's firing is, of course, is my post tibial muscle, and that's what's holding my arch up. And so if I move over to like that, to the right, and my arch collapses slightly, the muscle fires to, to pull it back. So this is a mixture of concentric uh, and eccentric contraction. Now the basis of the exercise is while I'm standing on one foot, I need to tap my knee to the left, to the centre, and to the right. Left, centre, right, while starting to balance, or continuing to balance on one foot. And what this is doing is this is generally strengthening the muscles in my lower leg, but in particular, my post tibial muscle um, is pulling through my tibialis posterior tendon to hold the arch of my foot up. Side angle of the same uh, exercise, so exercise number two, I'm standing on one leg, reaching across to the left, the centre, the right. Left, centre, right. Left, centre, right. That's one rep. And again, like I say, I do 30 of them, but I started off with about half a dozen. Okay, exercise number three. I want you to put your hands against the wall, just slightly shoulder width apart, and it's just as if you're doing a, a lower leg stretch. So you will place your foot on the floor and bend your knee till you get a nice stretch that comes up the inside of your leg just there. So there, lift your other foot off the floor and you want to reach across your body. Left, right, left, right, left, right. And what you're doing is you're doing this exercise. You're moving the foot across there. You're twisting the knee slightly across and that's putting tension on the post tibial tendon but at the same time, it's trying to lengthen it slightly. So it's that eccentric exercise, so lengthening under load. So left, right, one rep. Left, right, two reps. Left, right, three reps. Left, right, four reps. Again, I started with six or 10 of those and have worked my way up to 30. Okay, this time, slightly different view of the same exercise. So hands on the wall, slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Move out, so you're at a comfortable angle. Bend your knee and just adjust it till it's about right till you get a nice bend in the knee and you can feel a stretch uh, in the back of your calf. Lift the other foot up, across the body and back. One, two, left, right. Again, six reps to start with and then you'll build up. And hopefully this is giving you a view of what it is I'm actually doing to get that eccentric uh, contraction in the muscle. So I'm trying to lengthen the muscle and have muscle tension at the same time. Okay, so now we're going to start doing a set of different exercises which involve the use of a TheraBand. Um, so this is just a piece of elastic. You can get them from physiotherapists in particular, so some sports stores. You don't want too strong, because um, the idea is we're not trying to do weightlifting here. We're trying to do some, some basic. So take it in one hand, loop it around your foot, like that. And so we're trying to exercise the posterior tendon in our, our left calf here. Take up some tension, like that. And so what you're doing is you're putting a force on your foot. Um, and we're then going to oppose that force, so we're going to do that. So what I'm doing is I'm inverting my foot, so I'm pulling it across uh, and slightly towards me. And the muscle that should be doing the action is the post tibial tendon, sorry, the post tibial muscle um, through the post tibial tendon. And if we do it that way, it's uh, concentric contraction, so the muscle is shortening under load. And as we relax it back, it's doing eccentric contraction. So we get both sides of it. And all this is doing is just strengthening the muscle um, and therefore the tendon as well. So it's helping to reverse that post, you know, that dysfunction in your tibialis posterior. So just adjust the tension till you're happy with it. I want it slightly tighter than that. And then get doing it. So tighten and loosen. Now don't do it fast like that because then you're not really controlling the motion. You want to do it with good form. So Pull, and then slowly relax. Pull, and slowly relax. Um, and both motions should be controlled, because just doing it fast like that, you're not actually uh, co contracting the muscle eccentrically, you're just relaxing the muscle and letting it ping back. 
So you want to control the motion forward and then the motion back to rest. Forward and back to rest. Forward and back to rest. Okay. Same exercise from a slightly different angle so you can see the motion a little bit better. Contract, relax. Contract, relax. Contract, relax. Uh, this is kind of a high reps exercise. So I do about 100 of these a day. Um, I've worked up to that. I started with about 20, 25. Okay, final exercise. Uh, you'll notice I've got a chair in the picture to give you a little bit of stability just so I don't fall over. So for Achilles tendonitis, we do a heel drop like so. Um, we're going to do something similar for posterior tibial tendonitis. So we'll probably start up. Notice that I've come up as I went from Achilles, and then I've inverted the heel. So my ankle is folded over like that, and then I slowly go back down to the ground. And what we're doing is we get to that bit and we kink over, just like that, inverting the ankle, and do that. Once again, we're creating that eccentric exercise where the posterior tibial muscle is having to lengthen under load. So concentric to go up, eccentric to go down. Um, I do 30 of those, but again, I started with a few and worked my way up. 